Green, greetings folks, this is the Black Weasel and this is my video game review of Wall of Arms 2 for the PlayStation 2. I bought this game while I was on sale well over 5 years ago during the summer of 2015. This game is a sequel towards the first Wild Arms. I have played that game over 3 years ago and stopped playing the sequel for reasons I will explain later. Wild Arms 2 is a turn based um, Japanese role playing game that takes place in the wild wild west environment. The western theme is all over the place. The town's areas are in a world that is filled with deserts. The game is about a terrorist organization called Odessa which plans to conquer the world. The main characters become part of the mercenary group that is in charge of pushing back the terrorists from causing misery upon innocent people. What returns in this game are turn-based combat. The main characters have arms which are just guns that contain incredible power, hence the name Wild Arms. But I, uh, when I run out of bullets, I have to go back into town and pay to re restock. The reasons why I stopped playing the sequels was because the first Wild Arms game left a sour taste in my mouth during the journey. Whenever a quest or objective comes to an end, the characters in this game barely give out any information on what to do next. Not to mention how the puzzles are supposed to be solved. The puzzles in Wild Arms 2 can be solved by a kid, but later on, I find myself going on game facts and looking up walkthroughs uh, of how to solve um, the puzzles. It goes from um, a, child, a child can do this towards a grown ass adult like me having to look online because, um, because the game does not give out information for me to solve it on my own. I guess this is how detectives must feel. As I played through many games, ugh, as I played many games throughout my life, I have gained detective skills on how to obtain information for myself based, based on little bits of tips that have been given out. What I meant by that is how when someone when someone barely says certain things or makes comments but doesn't properly explain who or what they're talking about, I have put, have become intuitive oh my goodness, intuitive in the way that I try to think of certain things that could be true based on what was said and how certain monsters uh, fight. If I attack monsters with one magical attack and it turns out that the magic was healing them, then I rely on physical attacks and vice versa. Plus, due to many years of playing Japanese role playing games, I rarely use spells that affect the status of monsters, such as put him to sleep, poison him, etc. This is because if I use a status changing spell, and it misses, and essentially wasted a turn when I'm conscious attacked and damaged a monster. And I have become a major conservative of items and powerful um and and, and powerful items that I obtain throughout the journey. It's, it's, it's because I rather use them for the final boss instead of use them for a weak boss that I could just attack by, by myself while barely not while having not enough uh, items or help to uh, uh, win the game in the end. The soundtrack has the western feel since, since the environment it takes place in Wild Wild West. It has some songs that's pretty good but the majority of them are repetitive. And the reason for this is because the tracks just let last for less than a minute. Which pays the way for the player to become tired of the music because it's so, so short but it goes on endlessly, endlessly. As games become more advanced. As the years go by, composers are able to give out lengthy uh, sounds. This was a game that came out in April 2000. In a nutshell, Wild Arms 2 is Wild Arms 2 is round two, which is more of the same. So they did not do much to improve the game, I, even though like um the, the way they came out with the first game, uh, it, it, it's like a unique way because um. The setting was in the Wild Wild West. Not a lot of people have done this before, and so um, in order to play it safe, it's just many developers that go out and make games based on the ones like you have seen before. You know, a medieval fantasy settings, main character gets attacked for saving the world, or escort a, a girl somewhere, and all that. I'll give Wild Arms an 8 out of 10. I hate having to rely on outside help such as game facts. And walkthroughs, but when games during the 90s are not helpful, then they give me no choice. I have time to play games that take over 60 hours to finish, like Skies of Arcadia, 
Persona 3, 4, 5, and Grandia, but I do not have time to wander around like an imbecile and try to figure out where to properly proceed on my own. That's bullshit. I played this game on June 5th, 2020, and I finished it on July 2nd, 2020. It has taken me over 55 hours to finish this game.